Here we go. Ready? Yeah, Do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, pretty cool, doing stuff. Pretty cool, pretty oh my cool, God. pretty cool. I love it. Doing stuff. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, oh here my we go. Well, you, well, well. Hey, you, before we start, I just wanted to uh, just point out how much cooler I look than Jerry because I don't have to hold my microphone. If you're not listening to this and you're watching it on our Facebook or YouTube, you about, you got to check out Mason's mic holder. Yeah, it's a it's a it's an incredible technique that you have, Mace. Well, you a know. lot of people don't know about it. It's a it's a, a technique that's been passed down over generations in my family. Do you have a history in broadcasting? I mean, because like, that's innovative right there. That is innovation, well, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. You thought okay, every every it. time we've come back and podcasted, I've, I've said, "Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're going to podcast every show from here on out." And then we didn't. Every but guess show. what? Two weeks in a row. Baby. We're doing two weeks in a row. We're doing two weeks in a row, baby. We got the well, whole band this time. Last week the boys weren't there though. So I know. I got a lot of complaints. Yeah, I'm sorry. A I'm lot sorry of complaints. Mason and Corey are the number one people of the Pork Tornadoes. It's it's obvious. Yes. And people are like, why would I listen to it if Mason and Corey aren't there? And we mutually agree that we we share the number one spot. You both are the Just number one. We don't want to. We don't want to start that fight. We were busy. Yeah. They were busy. We were pretty busy. We are currently broadcasting from the Rust Belt in East Moline. Uh, night of the show. What you hear in the background is not quite brothers, just just, just like terribly playing instruments. I mean, I wish they would stop. Yeah, they're they really need bad. To practice. They, they, need to they practice have, Well, maybe that's what this is. Ugh. I mean, I've heard that when practice like, happens, like it doesn't always sound that good. Practice makes perfect. It's a rehearsal for them. Yeah. They're, yeah, yeah. yeah. they're playing this uh, genre of music known as rock and roll. I don't think it'll catch on. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, rock and roll will never catch on. There's a lot of gatekeeping nope. going on in rock and roll. You know, it's not going to happen. I really don't know any band who practices during sound check. No. no. It's so unprofessional. Whatever this is, I hope they don't actually play it live because it's not good. No. Is this the start of a feud? <laughs> yeah. I, well, I think we should. You heard it here first. Pork Tornadoes officially do not like Not Quite Brothers. If anybody checked out Michael's live stream earlier this evening, um, I did point out that uh, Not Quite Brothers believe that they are faster than the fastest pork tornado, which is Mr. Abs- Mike Schulte. Well, and they, they are absolutely correct about that. I am getting pretty old. Uh, well, I mean, you were pretty confident at the Ballroom that you Well, I'm the fastest fast. pork tornadoes member, but uh, do you think I could beat a 21-year-old maybe kid? beat him up. Because <laughs> you heard it here first. Uh, for the record, for all who are watching, Mason and I very much contested the holding of the microphone. Yeah. I just just want to get that on record. Feels really like know. a news broadcast, doesn't it? I really How you doing there, Michael? <laughs> Hello. Really Tell me more about the thing that happened. <laughs> okay, back to back. Okay, back to back. <laughs> <laughs> Remember right. Paramount? No, sure, back to back? So, back to back, man. So here's what me and Jerry talked about. Uh, oh, great. They're doing more practicing. Uh, here's what me and Jerry talked about. We talked about our last uh, podcast that we did was June 12th, 2021 at Woolies with Tom's Top 8. And then we did not podcast until then. We had told people that, oh, we're going to do it all the time. Summer's back. This so is we great. Waited almost and a then year. we did it. It's been almost a year. Wow. So what me and Jerry talked about was what our favorite shows were in that time period. So I'd like to know your favorite shows. I can give you a few examples. Favorite. Yeah, give us some refreshers. Give us some refreshers. Yeah. Uh, we were in Eagle Grove. We did a Sturgis Falls show. We did Rhinebeck where we rode on fire trucks. We were in Waverly, Heritage Days, McGrath Amphitheater, Green Space and Boji was the night of the storms that came at the very end. Okay. Okay. Adventureland Vikings weekend, Halloween, Surf Woolies, Winter Games, Hairball. Paramount Theater, Los Angeles. Any I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, all of them were my favorite. I'll that be sounds the first like to say that. that all, sounds like, like a lie. all of them were my favorite. Sounds like a Mason Green mostly kind of because, an answer. Mostly because I, w- I was unprepared for you to list off our shows. I thought you meant like our favorite TV shows within that time period. Correct. And we I did watch like, a lot. What is your favorite TV show like in that my, time my period? My favorite TV show in that time period. I think you should period. leave. Probably. I mean, probably. I think you should leave with <laughs> okay. Tim Robinson. Okay. If you're not watching, I think you should leave. I think you need to. The, the, a lot of the characters uh, was was also yeah. The characters. The characters. You're going to notice a lot this summer. I have a little trigger in my uh, drum pad where it says, "The night of my life." It's a dangerous night. That that's is actually, from. That's actually pretty nice. I thought you couldn't sing. Wow. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. I yeah. hope you're a well-rounded man. <laughs> you shouldn't have said singing. that. I hope now there are, I'm gonna sing every I song. I hope there that are people watching 
this podcast because that was I like the vibrato by shaking the beard. <laughs> it's a dangerous like you didn't even, night. You didn't even touch your chin. You just you <laughs> shook your just your beard. <laughs> my beard's connected to my face, bro. <laughs> the beard is it what controls my vibrato. Everyone knows that. Corey, what was your favorite show so, of that time period? Okay, TV show first. Since this is a podcast, okay, sorry, TV and I show. need to show my depth. My significant other really likes Gilmore Girls. I've been watching Gilmore Girls. I don't hate it. It's witty. It's yeah. quick. The I like it. Are just great. The quips are fantastic. And so I'm going to go on the record and say, thanks, Shelb. I appreciate it. I, I, I like the Gilmore Girls. I'm wow. Sorry. I do, too. <laughs> and then actual show, probably <laughs> Boji. Ooh, Green Space, the Green Space was good. It was, that was the great. last show on that gas station interesting Philip 66 stage. It's going to yeah. be awesome yeah. to see what their new stage is this year. That's true. August 20th, Okaboji. We'll see you there. How did you feel? 820. <laughs> 820, 22. How did you feel about the Adventureland Vikings weekend? We did not really talk about that. Me and Jerry did. Nope. Was that worth it? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. MVP, Jerry's dad, for driving us. Oh Thank you. My. Thank you, dad. Remember yes. when we said we hired a driver? It was Jerry's dad. Is that uh, uh, John Lawrence in the J- first? John. La- well, we have different middle names, so technically technically, it's not John Lawrence. Is your middle name John? Well, I, f- oh, I feel his first name is John. a little well, uncomfortable. Name too. Oh, so he, on the you think that his name is John John Lawrenson? <laughs> His dad, but he goes by Jerry. His dad's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John John Lawrenson, but I go by Jerry. No big deal. <laughs> this all makes perfect Thought sense. Thought it might be a thing. <laughs> Everything we're talking about makes perfect sense. Honestly, um, when years ago when you went on, you did this like uh, kind of artsy solo thing that you were gonna, you were gonna just be John Lawrenson as a musician. Oh yes, I remember that. It changed that, it for a while. that the promo posters came out before Jerry told me that his name was actually John and not Jerry. So you're like, did you feel betrayed? I felt super betrayed. This might be the first time anyone's learning this. Like your real name is your legal name is John. Yes, my yes. legal name is John, and it, middle name also John. Middle name John, John John, Lawrence. Second middle name Jerry. <laughs> John John Jerry. So- John, John, Jerry, Lawrence is my name. No, but this, like, actually becomes sort of an issue because, like, on, on occasion, like, you'll have different, you know, groups of friends that, like, know you from different places. And sometimes, like, say, you know, like, every time you take a college class and they're, like, taking. Hey, dummy. Taking, yeah, they're, like, taking the role. And they're like, oh, hey, and uh, now hey. John Lawrence, like, the first couple of years of college, I was like, actually, I go by I Jerry. I go by Jerry. And then eventually I was like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm John, whatever. And so, like, I had entire groups of friends from college that were, like, that's who they know me as. And then, like, late years later, like, those groups of friends would meet together, and they would be like, who the fuck is this Jerry guy? And then my other friends that were like, who's John? <laughs> and I have lived this boring double life. No, like, secret okay. agent guns or I anything. Have, just... I have a question. Okay. From being in a two-John household, what happens when someone calls and asks for John? Uh, you, oh. It's, ooh. The time, the time where that would happen, it was only I was never getting phone calls. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. No one, like, no one called you. When, when did you switch to Jerry? Well, think about like how long person. have we had? How long have we John, had a house phone? John, John Jerry Lawrence has no friends. Jerry John John Lawrence has lots of have, friends. Uh, has the, the friends. friends. <laughs> That's who. It is. Hi, is Jerry John John home? Is Jerry John John there? So does that make sense? Uh, you I know. answer makes that effectively? To- <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> makes complete and utter sense. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Anyways. So your initials are J J J L. Did you ever think about going by J J Lawrence? Uh, no, because he'd have to go by J J J. Actually, when triple I was J. like <laughs> triple J. Triple J. I, when triple I was J. when I was a kid, I always wanted to be Jack for some reason because I found out that John F Kennedy, whose first name is John. They called him Jack Kennedy. All right. And so I was like, Jack is way cooler than Jerry. Jerry's just a cat on, like, cartoons. And, like, Jack is, like, Jack Ryan, like, cool spy, you know? So, John, Jerry, Jack, John Lawrence. And yeah, yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> it. The third. That's the one. The, th- <laughs> the third is my name, too. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, did did you, what did you think about Paramount, though, that we recently just did? I thought, I've heard from many people that that was one of our better Paramount shows. I had an awesome time, but I think I had an awesome time. Did you have too much awesome time? Maybe. Uh, what The best part about Mace is we, we had to get, we had to get, 
early in that day, we got together to basically rehearse the entire first set. Yep. Because it's hard to get a, a bunch of people together that live in different towns and rehearse stuff. So we played through the entire first set in soundcheck, which was basically Mason just warming himself up. Yep. And then we did that entire set again. Yep. And then we also played a third set. I think. <laughs> It was a Two long shows. night for me and old Mace. Mace sang a, a show and a half. So did Corey. Never left the stage. No. I thought I thought it went really Co- well. He's the OG. Yeah, Corey was the only person from the band that was on stage the entire he night. He's the only person from the very start. Wow. Very and you also start. have to pee the most of anyone. What a time How to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one interesting thing that we're gonna do Thanks, here. Thanks, Mace. You're my best friend here. <laughs> Now that we've made some catch up and we are going to podcast quite a bit, it's going to be a lot of immediate stories, right? Yeah. So the last time we podcasted was before the Wooly Show here with Tom's Top 8. Yep. And an interesting <laughs> thing happened. You may have seen it on the Facebooks. If you follow our social medias, you may have already known the story that Mike's about to tell. We, are, we were in the middle of playing Sale, and I start. Did you, did you notice it right away? I didn't notice it at all. I did. I slowly started hearing a high-pitched beep happening and then i noticed i looked up and i noticed a flashing light in the middle of the ceiling of the crowd i'm like i think that's the fire alarm and we ended sale and sure enough weep 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 i mean like as loud as can possibly be a fire alarm going off and having never had that happen before have we ever had that happen before uh no during a live show i don't think so I surprisingly. really don't, surprisingly, we we sat there going, "What the fuck do we do?" Uh, apparently, immediately, about a hundred people in a sold-out Woolies crowd just hit the doors and said, "See ya." Which, to be fair, I would have done. Yeah. If that were going off for twenty-five minutes, I would have been the fuck out of that. I thought way more people would have left. Yeah. yeah. So we're standing on stage. Uh, eventually, somebody comes up. It's like, "Hey, we've searched. There's not an actual fire. Fire department's going to show up here to turn it off. It might be a while. Our options are leave stage." Correct. Until it turns off or just play. And, of course, the right answer is just play. Corey slowly starts playing a bass line to the beat of the fire alarm. It's an old old Maroon 5 song we haven't played in. Well, well funny, funny enough, thing is, we had just played it. <laughs> Cor- just Corey and I, though. Yes. Because you guys weren't on stage yet. But Corey starts playing the bass line to a Maroon 5 song not from coming home. way back in the day. Yeah, but not coming home. And... I didn't even catch it right away because I was still kind of looking around like, <laughs> what are we going to do? In the and the shots. Then, and then all of a sudden I hear I hear the end of the bass line and I looked at Corey. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I looked at Mike and Jerry who have never played that song before and went, <laughs> and we And there was that moment where we all started playing it and going, oh. I don't know what's going to happen. So we decided to play the entire song along to the fire alarm. Yep. Which, correct me if I'm not, was there a key, was there a pitch to that fire alarm that actually sort of fit into the song? I don't think not so, really. but I didn't, I mean, it was, it was on. It, it was didn't on, sound yeah. good. Oh, no. It didn't no. Sound good. no. It's not ideally what no, you want not, not coming home to sound like. Song, but it was the same tempo. <laughs> so I was playing along to this song, watching a flashing light on the ceiling as my metronome. And because I couldn't hear it anymore, barely. So I'm just going. <laughs> I just noticed that we'd like, we'd. We kind of get into it and get going, but then we'd wait till the the very end of the chorus. When you answer the door, pick up the phone. You won't find me because I'm not coming. We'd like all like slow back down to get back back on track. That was, oh, that's that was, a moment I I was having trouble singing the words because I was laughing to myself so hard. I was like, "Is this real?" Is Are we really doing this? We we did have a lot of whiskey shots, and I told someone drunkenly at Up Down, I, I go, on my deathbed, this will be a moment I think about. <laughs> I'll be like, remember when I was in a band and we played along to a fire alarm? Also, Mike, excellent job for having never played that song. Just got to say MVP on that one. Yep, that was well fantastic. Do you cheers, microphone? That's fantastic. Uh, screw you, Jerry. Oh, wow, that was really just, intimate. I mean, sorry. Screw you, John, John, Jack, Jerry. John, John, Jack, Jerry. No one has I, keyboards turned up in their mix. <laughs> yeah, no one could hear what I was doing. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, to, funny story. Well, well, About well. the old Wooly show, I caught Jerry with his pants down. Literally? No, not literally. Figuratively. I walked over and I saw there were no bass guitar in the mix. It's 
It's, How dare you? I can hear it from <laughs> over there. <laughs> Wait, what? Corey, you Corey dumped has your like, bass guitar out of your ears? Legit, Corey has like two eight-foot-tall cabinets. You could probably see them from there 58 feet okay. away. They look uh, kind of small on this yeah, stage. I have absolutely well, that's no, also a football field away. I, there is absolutely no reason whatsoever for me to be able to to need to have that in my mix, you guys. But I did. It was kind of like Corey was like looking at me in the bathroom or something. Like he came over and saw. For any of you that are like close to the stage, like our iPads that we have up there, that's how we control the levels. That's how we of what read we our hear. lyrics. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that too. But um, so he could like see directly that I had absolutely no Corey in my mix whatsoever <laughs> at all. And he pointed to it. He was like, oh, you're not of even Of course, listening. I then turned it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then he turned it up. He's like, that's better. And he made I it better, didn't it? I think it's really funny that he did that to you because typically on my iPad, the lyrics are pulled up. If my mix was pulled up, he'd know that I have no bass in mine either. Ah, uh, well. It's right there. Lot, it's right I'm behind a, us. I am a lot closer to his cabs. Than There's you no, they're they're very loud. They're, they're extremely loud. They're powerful, as most of you. Sometimes I have none in there, too. Just full <laughs> transparency. <laughs> Just, all right. Yeah! Well, that's how loud he is. Yeah. I, I just really hope you can hear us over the nonstop, incredibly terrible practicing of Not Quite Brothers right now. Yeah, they are. Uh, I don't they, know what they're so acting, but they're they just like playing music. They're so enthusiastic. <laughs> We're like, fuck that. <laughs> Actually, apparently the singer is now the drummer. They swapped some spaces. This might be a new thing. Oh, yeah. great. Oh, and the guitar player is playing bass. Oh, you know what? They probably heard about how we did Bulls on Parade at the Paramount where the drummer got out front yeah. and started rapping Bulls on Parade. That's probably what it is. We didn't talk about that in the last one. Uh, we did an encore, and because we had old drummers with us and old guitar players, Mason had the idea to say, Mike, I know you want to be I a think, front man. I think you should tell the story like we, we sang the song. So, so I, know you want, I know you want to be a front <laughs> man. Oh, I'll get to that. And Mason goes, no, we should back. do Bulls on Parade with wireless mics, me and you. I'll do the first verse, yeah. do you do the second verse. So, we of course. Enough, we had enough past members that were guitar players to cover yes. the guitar. We had enough drummers to cover the drums. I was like, we have to get everybody out here because we've played Bulls on Parade in every single yes. version of this band, and it would be the perfect finale. As, as a drummer, the worst part about playing drums is being confined, confined to a space. And, and I see you guys running around, and you're like, yeah, I'm dancing, I'm doing cool stuff, oh, I'm great. Wow. Well. Well, you do every I'm once in a while. I can relate to being caught in one spot. Every once in a while, though, I see you do stuff. Yeah, and then I miss what I'm supposed to sing next because I didn't get back to my mic in time. So we decide to do Bulls on Parade for the encore where I have a wireless mic, Dante and Will jump on the drums, and what am I going to do other than take full advantage of being a front man? I jumped in the air at least three times, and, and it's caught on video. It's one caught on one of the jumps was questionable. <laughs> It's Dude, more of a like the warm fold the your body. It's fold nervous. your body. It's bring your legs up to your chest and fold your chest over. Is really what it is. <laughs> is that's the kind you of the jump. To bring your knees to your chest. It's kind of like that during that jump. And I've heard, I've heard that that was the, one of the coolest things that anyone's seen in their life. They I thought it was it, cool. They say it was the best song they've ever heard any band play in the history of their their lives. I knew that Mike was having the best time, and that, no like when that. you see your when you see your friends having the best time, like can you demonstrate the mic just, technique, the back so, to back? Oh so yeah, wait, so, so I'm just, so I'm just see. really glad that the one time that you get to come out and do this epic jump, you also are in a part of your life where you're growing out your hair, because that made it look so much cooler. If I was short hair, <laughs> Mike from two years ago, short sure, hair, Mike, you look like like so. I can't really jump around stage that much because my hair doesn't move. Nope, that's but, true. Your flow was just everywhere. It was amazing. So in the middle of the song, Mason, we're at the very end, and, and it's the Bulls on Parade. Uh -huh. And Mason looks at me, and he goes, back to back. Back back. And I go, <laughs> Bulls on Parade. And then I go, I go, switch mics, switch mics. Bulls on Parade. Like, as not cool as you could possibly be, <laughs> but it was awesome. It was, it was uh, so awesome. I thought I, it was decently cool. Yeah. I would say it was very dad of me. It's a lot that cooler was, than uh, holding this mic right now for this long. I'll yeah, tell you that much. That's also true. Well, we're going to keep doing this. We're going to make it a point to keep doing podcasts. We're, we're going to have, have microphone a, stands. We're going to have microphone great. stands. Hopefully the opening <laughs> band's not going to be playing in the background forever. 
But you know what? That probably fine. sounds cool. It's it probably it sounds, sounds yeah. really sounds cool. cool. Yeah, it sounds I mean, cool. If I can hear you guys, then these guys can yes. hear us. That's right. We have a couple shows coming up. Uh, we're at Rust Belt tonight. Obviously, you can't come to that, you idiots. But uh, April 2nd, <laughs> April 2nd, we are back up in Spencer, Iowa. It's been like six years since we've been in Spencer. We played the Rockin' Bacon Brewing. With the Nadas. Whoa. No, 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 with the Nadas and uh, Good for Gary yes. and all these bands. And we were, dude, I looked it up. So correct me if I'm wrong. Two show day, right? Dude, two show day. We played, played in shows. Spencer, Iowa, five hours away from Cedar Rapids at 11 a.m., we drove to Cedar Rapids and played Cedar River Landing that night. Whoa! And that was the same was day awesome. that we found the toilet seat. And, and that was down, down in the dumps day. Took the Mason down in the dumps. That was down in the dumps day. Not quite seen on the on the Voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be cover. we're gonna be there on April second. It's it's now called the Northwest Beer Fest. Nice. Uh, you can grab tickets. We are we were the early band that day. Now we're the headliner. You gotta love oh, that. Oh wow! Gotta love that. Boys growing up. We're also gonna be April twenty second. Hard Rock Casino return trip to Sioux City. Tickets on sale for that. One of our yeah. favorite venues. Yes, and one of our favorite opening acts, Dan Motherfucking Olson oh. from Sack of Lions. Hell yeah! Is gonna be there. And then the next day, Saturday, we're at the Waiting Room in Omaha. Has been one of my favorite oh, yeah. venues to play in a long time. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, we're opera boys now. We're playing the Pella Opera House. Oh, wow. We got to do Ave Maria on the stage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I'll, and then by I'll then, by then we'll probably announce back to the back. summer tour. Ave Maria. <laughs> <laughs> summer tour will probably be announced by that point. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I, we're, we're debating. We've, we've narrowed it to two names. Your girlfriend's favorite tour and pool of the weekend tour. Yeah. Ma, I told him to Let's Molly. Let's start a poll. I, what's that? Let's start a poll. Let's start a, start poll. a poll. Molly told me, I, Molly goes, well, it's for the fans, not for you guys. Where our debate is, it's for us. So I always kind of feel like the tour name is actually for us, like an inside oh, joke. I like poll of the weekend, man. I know. But on a poll poster, weekend, Molly's baby. like, poll weekend, Molly's like your tagline is your girlfriend's favorite band, so your girlfriend's favorite tour is hilarious. Okay. That's what her tag, point that's says. A, that's a that's a vintage tagline. Yes. Mm. So we let's start a poll. Let's start a poll. And start that's a fine. Poll. You got to so name everyone, our whatever one wins gets printed on the next T-shirt on the back. No, no write-ins. We're going to no have a tour, we should have a tour shirt. Actually, can we allow write-ins? No. no. Can we do a tour shirt? Because you'll with the dates put on all the, the dates on the back of the poll. Of the I weekend, never buy bit. those shirts because I, I don't hate either. Them, but should we do them? Cedar Ridge, shirts. we have a new partnership with Cedar Ridge. Maybe they want right. to make a Cedar Ridge shirt. Oh, oh that Cedar is summer Ridge. tour. Pull wow. of the weekend. Pull. Or. Pull! Whiskey pull! Or. Oh! oh I think. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We just figured There's it out. There's no longer a poll. Sorry. Voting has been closed. <laughs> Voting's closed. Voting was open. Voting was closed. Open. Voting is closed. <laughs> step on the scale. Step off the scale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're right, Mike. I can't right hold here. this any longer. Play the out. outro music's going. <laughs> we're the fuck out of here. Oh my it's god! It's the pull of the weekend. Oh, so actually, they, and they want us to do something on stage, so it's the pull of the weekend. I love it. Oh Cheers, god. pull of the weekend. The Cedar Ridge pull of the weekend. Oh I love it. God damn it! I gotta get my job. I love I'm out of here. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.